<clears throat> so again, this is case number one based on fuel analysis. So we'll try to tackle case two and case three as well. So we've already solved the first one. Let's try this one, number three. Pure methane is burned completely with 40% excess air and 25% of its carbon content is converted to CO, the rest to CO2. You notice it's similar to what we have solved last time, but then now I have included hydrogen. 90% of its hydrogen burns to water. The rest remains as unburned H2. And then here, you're given this one. Remember this, we solved for relative humidity last time, but then it wasn't included in the test because the inclusion will be in here. Air is supplied at 23 degrees Celsius, 75.8 TOR, and with 80% relative humidity. Calculate the ORSAT analysis of the combustion products. Cubic meters of air supplied per kilogram of methane. And cubic meters of combustion products at 350 and normal barometric pressure per kilogram of methane. So with that, let's draw the process flow diagram. So we have the burner. Of course, our feed. The air and your combustion products. So for the feed, it is pure methane, CH4. It so happened that 90% at 25%. 25% of the carbon produces CO and 75% of its carbon produces CO2. Okay. What else? 90% of the hydrogen burns to water. H forms H2O. The rest, 10% of H just remains as H2. And air is supplied at uh, 238. 40% excess air. So air is supplied 40% excess. It is at 23 degrees Celsius, 758 mm Hg, and at a relative humidity of 80%. So the combustion products are... <clears throat> So you know there's CO2, there's CO, there's H2, unburnt, H2O, there's O2, and then there's N2. And then guys, will there be any unburnt methane or all of the methane is burnt by reading the, by reading this? Will there be any unburnt methane? Yes or no? There's none. So that means all of the methane will be burned. Okay. So what will be our basis? Um, You can see in the problem per kilogram of methane. So it's up to you. It could be one kilogram. It could also be one kilomole. But if my basis, I, I would want to use one kilomole of methane so that my reaction would be 0 0.25, 0 0.75, so that the equivalent of one kilomole of CH4 is actually C is 12 plus 4, 16 kilograms of CH4 already. Now, let's write the equations. C plus O2 yield CO2, C plus O2 
yields CO. So that's one half. Why is it just C, guys? Why, why am I not reacting it as CH4? Because I'm given here the, the elemental analysis, take 25% of C and then H plus O2, H2O. So here, one half. Okay. So let's do the, um, we don't know the air yet. So we can solve for the theoretical amount of air. Theoretical O2, we know that this is, we have a formula, right? C plus S plus one-fourth H. And the pa? Minus O2, right? Um, there's no O2 in the fuel, so walang problem. Wala tayong sulfur in the fuel, so no problem. Let's just cross those out. Cross and then cross. It's basically C plus H. So how many C? One mole of C. Right? Plus how many moles of H? Guys. How many moles of H? It's four, one fourth of four, right? Equals. Paano ko ba nakuha? Kasi di ba one kilo mole of CH four for every one CH four, one C. Therefore, one ang C natin, one kilo mole of CH4, for every 1 CH4, there's 4 H. Kaya, apat yung H. Right? Okay. So, there's 2 ang theoretical oxygen. The thing is, you are given 40% in excess. So, the amount of O2 fed is 2, 1.40. That's 2.40. 80 kilomoles. Now, alam na natin yung O2. Alamin naman natin yung N2. Fed. 2.80 kilomoles. The ratio, 2179. Can you please solve this for me? Ten point. 53 kilomoles of N2 are, let's just write here, O2. Okay, now that we have those, let's solve CH4, C, H, O2, CO2, CO, H2O, and N2. Okay, so we know that initially we have one mole of CH4, but we know that carbon to carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, na lang, carbon dioxide, 75%. Carbon to carbon monoxide is 25%. H to H2O. 90%, right? Okay, guys. So that means uh, what I can fill out here is 1, 4, and then the O2 supplied, you know that's 2.8. Initially, there's nothing, nothing, nothing. Ah, we already have N2. The N2 is 10.53. So, <clears throat> if it's 75, guys, I can say minus 0 0.75 of this reacts to form CO2. So, since that's 1 is to 1, minus 0 0.75. And then this is 0 
75, nothing, nothing, here, nothing, it won't react. Can you follow, guys, what's happening? Kasi it's purely carbon. Can you follow? Okay. 1 minus 0 0.75 is 0 0.25. Here, it's still 4. Hindi naman siya nag-react eh. 2.8 minus 0 0.75. What's this, guys? 2. 2.05. So this one is 0 0.75, nothing, nothing. This one is still 10.53. It did not, it did not uh, add or anything. Now, here, 0 0.25 though yung conversion. So minus 0 0.25, there's nothing anymore. Ito hindi magre-react. That's still 4. How much of the oxygen? One half of the oxygen. So this is 0. 0.25 divided by 2, 0 0.125. Am I correct? Hindi na siya. So ito, tuloy-tuloy na CO2 is 0 0.75 na lang. The CO produced is 0 0.25. And then the water, wala pa muna. This one, actually, it will not react. Let's just write that as 10.53. So here, wala nang problem. Zero na siya. Let's just write bar na lang to. Now let's go to the hydrogen. Guys, ah, by the way, what's this? 2.05 minus 0 0.125. 1.925. Thank you. Okay. So now hydrogen. 90% lang daw of hydrogen will form water. So what's 90% of 4? So minus 3.6. May matitirang 0 0.4, right? So one half of O2. Pero look at this. This is just, this is ano ah, take note. H, this is H2. So I can see na H, uh, sige, how many H, how many O2 will react? How much O2 will react? If, guys, if H2 plus one half O2 is H2O, what do I have here? I have here 3.6H, not H2. So how much of the O2 will react? Only 0 0.9. Kasi di ba sasabihin nyo, sir, di ba 1 half dapat 1.8? Yes. But that is H2. E take note, H, H lang ito. It's not an H2. So that means, divide pa ng 2. You understand? How much H2O will form? Guys, 1.8. Eight. Can you follow? So this is 1.0. Ang parang H plus O2 yields H2O. E di ito, for every one H, one half lang ito. One fourth lang yan. Can you follow what's happening? Guys, because the thing here is it's just H, it's not an H2. But you know the reaction for water is H2 plus O2 is H2O, right? Okay. So ito yung final natin. You're asked the ORSAT. So we can write here, letter A, ORSAT analysis. So the or, ah, baka pwedeng ito na lang. Dulo na lang natin yung H2O. Hindi, sige. I-rewrite ko na lang. CO2, CO, O2, N2, H2. 
So the CO2 I have is 0 0.75. The CO is 0 0.25. The O2 excess is 1.025. The N2 is 10.53. And then the formed H2 is minatira. So ito, 0.4 H, di ba? So 0.2 na H2. Am I correct? Tama ba, guys? So that means this one is 0.2. And then, Total this one. Can you please total this one? 12.755 kilomoles. So you can solve for the percentage by mole of each. Please solve that for me. Okay, so what you have is 5.88, and then 1.96, and then for O2, what's the O2, please? 8.04. What's the N2? Ayun, 82.52. And the H2. Is 1.57. Thank you. All right. So this is the ORSAT analysis. We're done with this. Ang mahirap lang dito, guys, kasi ito eh. Um, ito, I'm sure you can do the table. No problem with the TO oxygen. No problem with the oxygen fed, the nitrogen fed. The only thing I know you will get error in pagdating sa H. Kasi look at this. You know, I know that you will base everything from H2 plus 1 half O2 is H2O. Makakalimutan ninyo na H ito, H2 ito. Bakit ito naka-H? Bakit hindi ko ginawang H2? Kasi 90% of H. Hindi naman sinabing 90% of H2. So you know na there's 4 moles of H atoms in, in CH4. 90% of the 4 moles is 3.6. Yun lang yung magre-react. So the remaining 0.4H will be left unreacted. But what is the 0.4H equivalent to? That's 0.2H2. Ito nagigets yung green, guys. Do you understand the green one? All right, thank you. The next question is, cubic meter of air supplied per kilogram of methane. Okay. Medyo tricky dito. Kasi, in letter B, cubic meter, air supplied per kilogram of CH4. You have to remember, guys, that in here, did I remember um the one I taught you earlier yung this one this one here number of moles 22.4 one okay you know this right so with that yeah apply natin how many ano ba yung number of moles of air supplied Guys, sabihin nyo, di ba? Oxygen plus nitrogen, di ba ito? So I can say here that air, can you please add 2.8 plus 2.8 plus 10.53? Can you please add this? 13.33. Sasabihin nyo, yan yung moles ng air. Yes, that's correct. Pero may question ako, guys. The air given has a, a relative humidity. Anong ibig sabihin ng relative humidity na yan? 
water vapor, very good. So, ibig sabihin yan, kailangan pala natin yung, do you remember this one? The Antoine equation. The Antoine equation, ito ibibigay naman namin sa inyo to eh. Log VP, yung mga constants. Sometimes kasi it's given as log, sometimes it's given as LM. Siyempre, kapag ka log, you're using the base 10 log. Plus T. Now, ano ba yung mga given conditions? You know that the air comes in at 23 degrees Celsius, 758 mm Hg, and RH 80%. Diba? Okay. So, the vapor pressure, paano natin masasolve yung vapor pressure? Guys, solve nyo muna yung vapor pressure. Plug in mo yung 23 degrees, guys, please. Can you please solve for the vapor pressure for me? Sometimes, by the way, it's P. Okay. Uh, I think this, this Antoine is for Celsius. This Antoine is for Celsius. So VP is, ilan? Is it 20.92 mmHg? Were you able to get that? Were you able to get the same, guys? Okay. And then, hindi pa natin nasosolve kasi log VP pa lang. Okay, you have to remember Diba? Percent RH is equal to partial pressure of water divided by the vapor pressure. Ano ba yung percent RH? You, you know that, that that's 0 0.80. So, P, ah, sorry, solve ko na lang siya. PH2O 0 0.80 of 20.92. What is this, guys? This is... Can you please calculate? 16.7736 mm Hg. Yan yung partial pressure ng water. Right? Okay. Medyo may pagkamahirap kasi ito. Ah. May, may mga iba't ibang steps. Di ba? Kailangan natin ng Antoine equation. Kasi nga, kung dry air, wala tayong problem, i-add nyo lang yung air. Ang problem kasi, may moisture dun sa air. How do we solve that? Okay, may isa pang formula. Nakapagod, no? Number of moles of water for every number of moles of dry air is equal to pressure exerted by water over the pressure exerted by dry air. Pero ano ba yung pressure exerted by dry air? This one is actually pressure ng wet air minus pressure ng water, of course. So if I would like to ask you to solve for the number of moles of water in the air, that's number of moles of dry air multiplied by pH2O over P wet air minus P H2O. So how what's this? Number of moles of dry air, you, you were able to solve this kanina. 2.80 plus the nitrogen, which is 10.53. What's the partial pressure of water? It's already there. 
0.736. Ano yung partial pre- ano yung pressure daw na wet air? Di ba ang pressure ng wet air given, ayun no? 7.58 minus 16.736. Guys, can you please solve for the number of moles of water for me? Zero point three zero one mole of H two O. A kilomoles siya no gamit natin kilomoles. All right. So ngayon masasolve na natin to kilomole um moles of air supplied is two point eighty plus ten point fifty three plus zero point 301, siya yung number of moles. Diba remember? This one, moles, divided by 1, times 22.4. Diba? So, yan o, cubic meter per kilomole. Times, nasa taas yung pressure na 760. This is 758. And then, nasa baba yung 273 Kelvin, sa taas 273, plus air enters at 23 degrees Celsius. Divided by, ilang kilograms ng methane? 16 kilograms of CH4. Can you please give this to me? Let's answer 20.745 cubic meters air per kilogram of fuel. May pagkamahaba, no? Kasi ang iniisip nyo lang lagi, this one is the oxygen fed. This one is the nitrogen fed. This is the Moisture in air. That one. Moisture in air. Medyo may pagkamahaba to solve that. Diba sabi ko sa inyo last time, Antoine equation, we were basically just using it. Pero dito talaga siya nagagamit. Kaya lang ang dami niyang steps. Like after the Antoine equation, you have to use the relative humidity. After this, you have to take note of this. Lastly, what's being asked is cubic meters of combustion products at 350 and normal barometric pressure. So 350 at normal barometric pressure. Letter C. Cubic meters naman of stock gas per kilogram of methane. This one happens at temperature is 350 degrees Celsius. Pressure is 760 mm Hg. So guys, kasi dito, eto raw, the stock gases exit at exit at 350 degrees Celsius and 760 mmHg. So, may conditions din na binigay. So, ano ba yung cubic meters daw ng stock gas? Eh di, alam natin, kailangan natin ng number of moles. Ilang number of moles ba yung stock gases natin, guys? Di ba, you know? 12.755. So, in here, you can say, 12.755 plus, di ba this is the or sap? Eh di kailangan ko ng water from combustion. What's the amount of water from combustion? 
ayun, 1.8. Pero, take note, di ba? You have to remember that air entered wet. Tama ba? Since air entered wet, meron tayong due to humidity or moisture from air. Ano yung moisture from air natin? Di ba na-solve natin? 0.301? Yan yung total number of moles. Multiply natin ng 22.4 cubic meters per kilomole. Multiplied natin ng Take note, nasa taas ang 760, nasa baba ang 273. Pero it so happened that it also happens at 760. This is 273 plus 350. And everything else is divided by 16 kilograms. Can you please um, do this for me? Forty-seven point forty-six cubic meters of stack gases or the combustion gases for every kilograms for every kilogram of ethane. So this is your answer. Are we okay with the table? Okay, so eto ah, I'm just repeating. Nakagreen naman siya to to clarify yung zero point four. It became point two. Now, that's why we have the point two in here, because that is actually zero point four in the zero point four H. It's actually zero point two of H two. Ito, wala ng problem. Now, cubic meters of air supplied. Again, 2.8 is the oxygen supplied. This is fed. Ayan. N2 fed, O2 fed. Moisture in air. Kasi bakit may moisture in air? Because air was given relative humidity. Pero pag sinabi namin in the test, air is substantially dry. E di ang... Ang answer dito, 2.8, 10.53, multiply by this na. Wala na to Wala tayong Antoine equation. Wala tayong number of moles. And then last natin, stock gas. Ito, alam nyo naman, it's clear. 12.755 is the ORSAT analysis of the stock gas. And then you have to remember, since ORSAT siya, I need the water. The water, that's 1.8. This is 1.8 na to from combustion, the water from combustion. You know, H2O from combustion. Pero may H2O tayo from wet air, moisture. Yung 0.301 here, moisture in air. Alright. Instead of wet air, gawin ko na lang moisture in air para pareho silang definition. Okay, so we'll go now to case number two. Sabi ko ang case number one based on fuel analysis. Case number two is based on flue gas analysis naman, baliktad. So we will be solving from back, from the back end going forwards. So if the N2 in the fuel is negligible, then N2 in the flue gas may be assumed to be all coming from the air. An O2 balance will determine the O2 unaccounted for. This unaccounted for O2 was burned, was used to burn H2 in the fuel to form water. Water is not present in the flue gas if the flue gas analysis is reported as dry basis. So I'll go to that. An example, a fuel containing methane and ethane is burned in excess air. So, walang nilagay kung ilang percent excess, walang nakaganon. 
Pero what you're given is the analysis of the dry stock gas is given as follows. 4.62% CO2, 3.08% CO, 8.91% O2, and 83.39% N2 by mole. Calculate the percentage of the methane in the fuel. So with that, let's try. So the burner, the fuel again consists of uh, methane and ethane, the products, and of course, the air. Air hindi reported kung excess or anything. This one is ethane and methane. So methane and C2H6. For the products of combustion, what was reported, guys, is the ORSAT analysis. CO2, CO, O2, and N2. Ito lang yung report only the ORSAT. So 4.62. That's Percentage by mole, 3.08, 8.91, and 83.39. Okay. So, our basis for this one will, of course, be 100 moles of the product gas P. Diba? Okay. Ang problem natin, bakit ganun? May mga H dito pero walang H na ni-report kasi nga it's an ORSAT analysis. Pero if all of the fuel, if all of the mixed fuel reacted, am I safe to say guys that this one will be the atoms of carbon? Kasi 1 is to 1 naman siya eh. Remember, ang atoms carbon natin will be, di ba, carbon plus O2 yields CO2, the one I gave you earlier, yields CO, and then H2, 1 half O2. These are the three typical reactions, right? Okay. So, guys, I have a question. Do we have any nitrogen in the fuel? There's none. So, let's note that. Since no N in fuel, N2 all from the air supplied. E di alam na natin ngayon na the O2 supplied will be N2 supplied times 21 over 79. E di ba this one is 83? 0.39 moles of N2 multiplied by 21 divided by 79. Can you please solve this for me? What's this one? 22.17 moles O2. Yan yung supplied, guys. Ang tanong... Definitely, may excess siya kasi may excess tayo. 8.91, may, may free dyan na O2. So, how do you solve for the O2? Ito ah. So, O2, excess, is how much was in excess? Diba 8.91 minus 
Ganti yun, guys. Bakit sa nanggaling to? This one is actually CO. Ayun na, 3.08. Bakit dinivide ng 2? Kasi di ba, kulang, di ba, for every 1C, 1 half O2 to form CO. Am I correct? And isn't it that CO, tama ba? This is CO going to CO2. Kasi ganito yun, guys, eh. Para maging excess, di ba? Isn't it that uh, I've been telling you before, in order to solve for the amount excess air in the fuel or amount of excess air fed, di ba laging based siya on the complete combustion? Am I correct? Eh di ba may incomplete combustion tayo due to the presence of CO? So that means, ilan pa ba yung kailangan ko para ma-complete combustion to? Eh di 3.08, plus 1 half O2 para maging CO2, yun yung kailangan. E di ba may excess tayo na 8.91? So, etong excess na to pala, hindi siya yung true excess kasi sumobra siya pero hindi niya lahat na gamit. So, kung lahat gagamitin niya, if all of the oxygen will be used to convert all of the carbon to carbon dioxide, dapat isubtract natin to. So, what is this, guys? Can you please solve? 7.37 moles O2 excess. Yan yung totoong excess. Alright? Now, meron tayong tinatawag na O2 unaccounted for. Ang O2 unaccounted for is yung oxygen yung oxygen na Kasi di ba hindi pinakita yung water? Dito, wala kasing water from the ORSAT analysis. Am I correct? Kasi di, since walang water, meron tayong tinatawag na O2 unaccounted for. So how do we solve for that O2 unaccounted for? 22.17. I-minus down natin yung... Kasi ginam... Ayan yung O2 supplied, right? I-minus natin yung ginamit natin for combustion. Sorry. 4.62 ginamit natin sa oxygen. And then ilan yung, ilan yung kailangan natin? Yung kailangan natin for carbon monoxide? 3.08 divided by 2. Plus <clears throat> yung O2 na sumobra. Kung baga O2 na nandito, lahat ng O2 in-account natin dito. Lagyan ko ng pangalan na this is O2 C to CO2. Hindi, huwag na ganun. O2 from CO2 na lang pangalan natin. O2 from CO2. Ito naman O2 from CO. This is O2 free. Kasi ganito yun guys. Ang total na O2 na sinupply natin, 22.17. Ilan ba yung O2 natin na nasa carbon dioxide? 4.62 kasi 1 is to 1. Ilan yung O2 natin from carbon monoxide? 3.8 divided by 2. Ilan yung free O2 natin? 8.91. So, ilan yung unaccounted for O2 natin, guys? Can you solve? 7.1 mole O2. Ano yung unaccounted for O2? Ang unaccounted for O2 as defined in here, you know, An O2 balance will determine the O2 unaccounted for. This unaccounted for water was used to burn H2 in the fuel to form water. Ang problem natin kasi, or set analysis to, hindi pinakita yung H2O. 
इस ओ टू यूज टू बर्न एच टू टू फॉर्म एच टू ओ सो दैट मीन्स अलम नाथन देर इज सेवन पॉइंट वन मोल ओ टू न अनकाउंटेड फॉर सो गोइंग बैक H2 plus one half O2 giving me water. If I have 7.1 moles of unaccounted water, I unaccounted O2. For every one half oxygen, there's one H2. One H2O. Tama. How much H2O is this, guys? Fourteen point two moles of H two O. Tama, okay. So let's go to this. Gas moles atoms. Um, take note of this. Di ba na solve na natin yung amount ng water here? So I can see here that if this is the number of moles of water, I can say 28.4 moles of H. So punta tayo dito sa table. What are the gases that we have? We know we have CH4 and C2H6. Ang tanong, ilang number of moles? Hindi natin alam kung ilang moles to. Hindi rin natin alam kung ilang moles to. Pero ilang atoms ng carbon? May isang carbon. May dalawang carbon. If this is x moles, 1 times x is x. 2 times y is 2y. Ilang atoms ng hydrogen? Ah, 4x. Ilang atoms ng hydrogen sa baba? 6y. May question. Ilan ba yung total atoms ng carbon that we have? Total atoms of carbon. Can you can you total this for me? 4.62 plus 3.08. What is this? 7.7. So I'll just use um star. Ito yun. 7.7 siya. Tapos ilan yung water natin? Ito, itong green na star. That is 28.4. Tama ba? So what we do here, guys, is this. Gawa tayo ng equation. There will be two equations. From the table, we can see that pag nag-atoms carbon tayo, x plus 2y 7.7. Kumbaga parang instead of atoms carbon, let's call it carbon balance. C balance. The other one's H balance. H 4X plus 6Y. 28.4. So guys, two equations, two unknowns. Can you solve for X for me? So how Y? What's x? 5.3. What is y? 1.2. Total is 6.5 moles. Okay. Percent, please. 5.3 divided by 6.5. 81 point. 
56. So 81.54 at saka 18.46 percent percentage by mole. E di ba what's being asked in here? Calculate the percentage of methane in the fuel. Therefore, CH4 is 81. Palitan natin. Fuel is 81.54% by mole methane. Okay? Balikan natin. So, ito, wala tayong problem sa pag-setup nito. Ang magiging mahirap lang kasi dito, guys, dito tayo magbe-base on the flue gas analysis. And again, the flue gas does not contain water, kaya mahirap siya. If it's a full analysis, okay, meron na tayong H agad sa dulo. Now, since in the fuel there's no N, we can see that all the nitrogen comes from air. So kung ano yung nitrogen in the flue gas is actually the nitrogen coming from the air above. So if I ask you, ilang percent excess yung air natin? Kasi pwede kong itanong din, how many percent excess air? ba? Percent excess O2, hindi ito alam natin na from, from the carbon, if 7.7 .7 siya, ilan yung kailangan natin na na oxygen? Mole na C, di ba ang di ba pagka percent excess ang assumption natin complete combustion? So 1 is to 1, kailangan natin pala 7.7 .7 moles of O2 din ang theoretical. Eh, ilan ba yung excess natin? 7.37. Therefore, percent excess is 7.37 divided by 7.7. .7. Roughly 100% excess tayo. Ang dami. Okay? Here, instead of going to here, napansin ko lang. Instead of going to this, If I ask you for percent excess O2, may mas madaling pag-solve is this. Percent excess O2 is the excess O2 over O2 supplied minus O2 excess. Ang excess natin na solve natin 7.37. Ang O2 supplied natin pala, 22.17 minus yung excess natin, 7.37 times 100. So, eto siya. Ano lang pala siya? Roughly 50% excess. 49.8, no? 